Hey, good morning everyone. This is Sean with Service First. Today we've got an awesome opportunity to show you three different types of flagpole installations here outside this commercial property. We'll be doing our telescoping flagpole, our sectional flagpole, and then replacing a, a two inch diameter flagpole of a previous install um, with our adapters. Quite a variety to show you. Let's go ahead and get started. Here, let's go over some of the supplies we need today. Uh, since we're doing two brand new installs, we have our Quickcrete. We're gonna go 350 pound bags per hole. Uh, we have our five gallon buckets to stir that up with. We have a level and a shovel as well. All right, so we're here at the first hole that we dug. Uh, we went 18 inches deep by 18 inches wide. Uh, with our soil being fairly native here, we that's what we recommend. Obviously, if you live in areas that have extreme wind or fairly loose soil, we recommend that you probably go a little deeper than that as well as maybe get additional concrete to help with that stability. So next step in the installation process is to ensure that our ground sleeve is level and we recommend doing that two different ways. The first is grabbing our level and placing it on top. Uh, doing it in two different directions while the concrete is still wet. So if you have to make adjustments, you're able to do so. So the next way we recommend is to place your pole inside the sleeve, again, while the concrete is still wet, and take your level and place it vertically alongside the pole. All right, so we're back out here at our installation site. 24 hours later, you can see how firm the sleeve is. So let's go ahead and get our flag pole and put it in. All right, here we are at our first install. It's our 25 foot Freedom Edition telescoping flagpole. As you can see on top, we have our gold ball finial holding on our black lithium ion solar light. At the bottom, we have our black flash collar. And underneath, we have our three inch water boot to keep excess water out of the sleeve. As you can see, the flash collar goes over it very nicely. All right, so now with our pole installed, the last thing we need to do is clip in our flags. Great thing about the telescoping flag pole is we have a no tangle 360 degree swivel. So let's go ahead and clip in our flags and raise it up. So this installation project has given us a great opportunity to showcase one of our products here from Service First, which is our flagpole adapter. Normally to do something like that, we'd have to rip up all of the concrete and replace it with a brand new sleeve. Previously at this location, they had a two inch diameter flagpole, but they wanted to replace it with a stronger three inch flagpole. So to finish our installation off, we're gonna grab our flash collar and place it right over the hole. Grab our adapter and stick it right through and secure. So now we're going to insert our flag pull into the adapter and tighten it down. Alright, so we have our flag pull installed and tightened down. We've put a solar light on top. Now we're just going to finish clipping in the flags and raise it up. So next we're going to be installing our 30 foot Freedom Edition sectional flagpole. You'll find inside the box it comes in five different pieces, your 3x5 flag, your finial, and your rope and halyard kit, as well as your ground sleeve. Alright, so now we're going to get to our 30 foot Freedom Edition uh, sectional flagpole. We're going to start at the top by installing our rope and halyard kit. 
For this specific one, we chose to do our black lithium ion service first light and our golden eagle finial. Hopefully through these three different types of installations, you've been able to pick up some tips or tricks that will help you as you install your own flagpole. Make sure to refer to your instructions and follow them carefully to ensure that your flagpole installation is a success. If you do have any questions, feel free to give us a call or chat with us online.